Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, we're going to talk about how much math you actually have to do in order to burn all of the calories that you eat in a typical Thanksgiving meal. So yes, you actually can do math uh, to burn calories. So before we get to that, um, let's talk about how many calories are actually in a Thanksgiving meal. So I spent quite a bit of time uh, doing tons of research. I got all kinds of facts from the internet. Most of the sources say that a typical Thanksgiving meal is somewhere between 3,000 and 4,500 uh, calories. I think the most reputable source I found said it was about uh, 3,150 calories. So we'll just go with uh, 3,000 calories. So our typical Thanksgiving meal is about 3,000 calories. Okay, so how much do you burn doing math? Well, when I started to do research on this, I found tons of articles on the internet. If you Google it, you know, math burns calories, you're going to get tons of articles. And almost all of the articles point to one specific study. And that study says that uh, our brains constitute approximately 2% of our minds, of our body. So our brain is 2% of our body, but uses 20% of the energy that we use like to live. So our brain takes 20% of the calories we consume. You might be thinking, okay, so our brain uses most of the calories. So if we do lots of math, we're gonna burn tons of calories. No, no, but there is hope, but no. It turns out that the brain is extremely resilient, right? It's really, really efficient. And it uses uh, most of the calories just to like keep us alert and awake. And, and keep our basic, like I guess our motor skills uh, working. So what I did find is this, uh, doing something that is very difficult, like learning and learning a musical instrument burns roughly 25 calories a day. So if we compare math, like doing hard math, like you know proofs with maybe learning an instrument, uh, we can say that math burns roughly an additional 25 calories per hour. So in 10 hours of math, that would only be 250 calories. So I thought that's no good. Well, what if we stand up and do math at whiteboards? When you stand up, you burn an additional 40 calories, right? So if you stand up and do math, you're burning an additional 65 calories. So what does that work out to? Well, let me work it out. I have a calculator right here. Let's see, so 65, let's just say five hours. Okay, 65 times five, so 325 calories, you will burn 325 calories, an additional 325 calories if you stand up and do math problems for five hours. So that means it would take you about 10 days uh, to burn off your Thanksgiving dinner. So when you're eating Thanksgiving tonight, I went on a little bit of a rant there, but happy Thanksgiving. Um, 10, hour, 10, 10, 10 days of five hours of math. So if you do math for 10 days, five hours a day, you'll burn off uh, that Thanksgiving meal. Of course, you could always just eat a little bit less and do a little bit of exercise. Anyways, that's my Thanksgiving video. Happy Thanksgiving.